The East African nation of Djibouti has recently entered into a partnership with Hong Kong Aerospace Technology Group for the construction of a spaceport in the country. The partnership was formalized through a preliminary agreement signed between both parties, which aims to build a facility for the launching of satellites and rockets in the eastern region of Africa. The delegation from the Hong Kong Aerospace Technology Group arrived in Djibouti on January 7, 2023, to discuss and evaluate the potential partnership with the Djiboutian government. The Chinese ambassador to Djibouti, Hu Bin, met with vice president of the group, Allen Fund, and other members of the delegation. Ambassador Hu Bin expressed his affirmation for the cooperation of Hong Kong Aerospace Technology Group in Djibouti and encouraged the enterprise to strengthen feasible research, establish a firm awareness of compliance, balance corporate interests and social responsibilities, and promote the diversified economic development of Djibouti. The Embassy of China in Djibouti also stated that it will actively provide the necessary support and guarantee. According to the preliminary agreement, the Djiboutian government has committed to providing all necessary support for the construction and operation of the Djiboutian spaceport. This support includes the provision of a minimum of 10 square kilometers of land for the facility, with a lease term of not less than 35 years. To assure the dependable transit of aerospace materials, the $1 billion spaceport project will also include the development of a port facility, a power system, and a highway. The spaceport, which becomes the first Orville spaceport on African territory, represents a significant victory for Africa. On the other hand, Allen Fund and his team thanked Ambassador Hu Bin for his concern and guidance to the company and expressed that they would adhere to legal compliance, mutual benefit, and a win-win situation, and actively promote cooperation with the Djiboutian side. The project is anticipated to contain three rocket testing pads in addition to seven satellite launch. The signing of the agreement was presided over by the president of Djibouti, Ismail Omar Gell, and the project is set to be completed in the next five years. This is not the only major deal Djibouti has signed this year. The nation also signed the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons in the UN's New York headquarters on January 9, making it the newest signatory. The historic agreement was signed by Mohamed Saeed Douala, the ambassador of Djibouti to the UN, increasing the total number of signatories to 92. The partnership between Djibouti and the Hong Kong Aerospace Technology Group is a significant step towards the development of the space industry in the region, and it is expected to bring economic and technological benefits to both countries. The spaceport will be a vital addition to the infrastructure of the country and will enable the launching of satellites and rockets from the eastern region of Africa, which will support the growth of the space sector in the region. The construction of the spaceport also implies the development of new industries and job opportunities in Djibouti. The projection, according to Victor Mongera, head of the Mechanical Engineering Department at Kenyatta University, will make available a launch base that will service all Africans. When it comes to the active creation of space-based inventions, it will push Eastern Africa off the sleeping condition, he said. The Italian-run Braglio Space Center, San Marco and Malindi, Kenya, and Algeria's Regan have both conducted test and small-scale launches in the past. Mongera sees an increasing trend in the growth of Africa's space sector, with some African nations already developing and running their own microsatellites. 52 satellites from 14 nations have been sent into orbit, fueling the movement. The countries with the most satellites in orbit as of 2022 are South Africa, Egypt, Algeria, and Nigeria, each of which has launched more than five satellites. East African nations, according to Mongera, are well situated to host new spaceports because of their proximity to the equator as there isn't much energy needed at the equator, he claimed. 
If you enjoyed this video, do check out our next one which looks at the $19 billion Dangote oil refinery, which is set to be commissioned on January 24, 2023. Be sure to like both videos, comment, share, and subscribe to the new Africa channel for more informative future videos.